Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use GoFormative, which you can find at GoFormative.com, to create an interactive image or block of text that you have your students respond to. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm already signed in, and I'm going to create a new assignment here. Now, my new assignment is going to be to pick the finalists for the NCAA Final Four. So we'll call it Final Four Finalists. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the Upload and Transform option. And I have an image here that I created in Google Drawings of just a simple little bracket. Now you could upload any image or document. We'll call it Final Four Choices. And now I'm going to add a question on top of this image that I just added. You'll notice I have this little, this little crosshair that appears over the document or the image that I just uploaded. Click on that, select Add a Question, and then choose your question type. I'm going to say, in this case, short answer. And I want to give the prompt of please choose two finalists. Now you can see here I can even assign points if I want to. I don't want to assign points. I just want to gather feedback in this case. So we're not going to make it a point value. And select done. Now I'm going to leave it just like that and select assign. I can assign it to one of my classes or I can say everyone who has the link and the code can participate in the activity. So let's take a look at how that would appear to a student or someone seeing this uh, live on the web. I'm going to need this code here to participate in the activity. Let's go ahead and open that in a new incognito window so you can see it how students will see it. Let's put in that quick code and the student can do this without logging in and just put in a name and we'll see that load. The student can hover over and choose two finalists. I'm going to say that it's an all Northwest final. And once they've done that, they can submit it and their submission is recorded. Now, as the teacher, uh, I could also embed this or share this in Google Classroom if I wanted to. Let's go and see the live results as a teacher, and I can see so far that Max has made a submission. So that's how you can create a quiz or a poll using GoFormative that's based on an image or document of your choosing. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com and freetechforteachers.com.